So a lot of people are thinking about the best strategy to uh, apply for an heavy fed credit card, right? So in today, today's conversation, I really want to talk to you about something that it's important. When should you really apply for a Navy Fed credit card? We are speaking about timing here, and you want to be prepared to be surprised. I'm telling you. So stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suri Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about Navy Federal credit cards, when you should really apply, okay? And it's important. Now, let me give you some few pro tips. It's really important. You want to, pro tips are, they come in different uh, sort of uh, shapes, different forms. First, you want to seek pre-approval. Okay, it's important. The thing here is that if uh, you have been pre-approved by Navy Fed, this is kind of cool to apply. Why? Because nobody should ever, 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 ever actually decline a pre-approval from Navy Fed. You know why? Because it doesn't matter whether you need the card or not. I, you know, if you're lucky enough to be a, an 800 or have a very high FICO score, that's kind of cool. But you always want to take a pre-approval offer because you have nothing to lose, especially from such a prestigious institution as Navy Fed. Okay, so let me just let me just give you a scenario. You've been working your ass off hmm, for the last ten years, for the last five years. You are able to actually uh, build a, a comfortable credit score. So now you want to reap the rewards of that uh, comfort, and you get good offers from institutions like Navy Fed, Chase. Wells Fargo and whatnot, and you're just going to sit around and not accept it, this would not be a, a good strategy. So if you have been pre-approved, if you get a pre-approval from Navy Fed, whether you are a member or not, you always want to seize it. Really important. So a pre-qualified credit card offer means that you have met Navy Fed's initial criteria for a certain credit card before you actually apply. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not guaranteed that you'll be approved for the card in question, but it's a way to gauge your odds of approval without getting a hard inquiry on your credit report. And that's what we love about that. So when you think about pre-qualification, you are thinking about soft pool, you're thinking about soft credit, okay? And uh, there, there could be opportunities where there could be times when you have been referred. Instead of being pre-approved, somebody has referred you because some card issuers, including Navy Fed, they provide existing card users with a, ref with a referral link they can give to friends and family. So these referral links may, may not necessarily improve your chances of being approved for a new card, but, but if you are approved, you and your referrer could be eligible for a referral bonus in the form of cash, rewards, points, or both. Okay. So when we talk about pre-approval, here are on the screen the Navy Fed credit card that apply. So the cash rewards, the platinum, the gold rewards, the Visa signature flagship rewards, and the Navy Federal more rewards, American Express. Now I want to talk to you about relationship, boss. When should you apply for a Navy Fed credit card? Well, the, the, the thing is that if you have a good relationship with Navy Fed, this could be a good, a good time to apply. When I'm talking about good relationship, I'm speaking about a good multi-product relationship, a good NPR. So we're, we're speaking about a variety of accounts that we have with them. You've been, you've been good to them. They've been good to you. And you realize, hey, listen, we have chemistry here. And this could be a good opportunity for me to actually uh, to apply. Now, let me tell you something. And I want you to think deep here. What are you going to tell your grandkid, say, 10 or 15 years from now, about your relationship with Navy Fed? Are you, are you thinking about that? Because a lot of folks just think about credit cards and loans from Navy Fed. But there is another portion, which is to build a relationship, but also to create the, the foundation of a long-term relationship here so that your kids and grandkids and whatnot can benefit from that relationship. For example, you can open IRAs, okay? You can actually open... Uh, 
child's uh, checking account you can, you can open a checking account for your underage child okay this is this is possible so when, when i speak about npr a lot of folks believe that we're just talking about cash and checking account i mean savings accounts and checking accounts but i'm speaking way beyond that okay so if you have a good relationship with uh, navy fed this could be a good time to apply for a credit card okay have you is your income up are you making money are you banking boss talk to me about that if things are rosy right now in, in your uh, in your job and your employment history this is kind of cool okay so you want to seize the opportunity right now to apply have you set up direct deposit with navy fed it's important so when i talk about having a a tighter relationship with uh, with the navy fed i want you to actually set up direct deposit with them okay because they will be able to see some cash inflows from you and sort of uh, be able to gauge your net worth and uh, when we talk about net worth is really important if your net worth is up this could also be a good opportunity to actually um, apply for a navy fed credit card the one thing i want to mention real quick is that when we talk about direct deposit i'm not asking you to actually uh, set up 100 percent of your direct deposit with navy fed maybe you have a different budget system and uh, things are kind of uh, different right now for you and you can actually uh, you can split your direct deposit into three accounts Okay, you can have one for with Navy Fed, one with Chase, and one with, uh, say, uh, PNC, right? So the whole thing is you, you just need to establish some kind of regular cash flows, cash inflows with Navy Fed, okay? And when we talk about having an NPR, we are speaking about what? Checking accounts, savings accounts, IRAs, MMAs, money market accounts, CDs, certificate of deposits, and whatnot. So if you have a strong relationship with uh, Navy Fed, here are the cards that you can, you can apply for cash rewards platinum go rewards visa signature flagship rewards and we have the the hybrid card with, with uh amex navy federal more rewards amex card big purchase boss i'm talking to you hello yeah i'm talking to you just i just want you to turn just uh just listen to this check this out if you are planning a big purchase this could be a good opportunity to apply for a navy federal credit card okay did you hear that yeah oh yeah oh yeah i don't want you to plan see the thing is that i don't want you to plan the purchase before applying for the credit card it has to be in sync it has to be simultaneous in other words what i'm trying to say here is that as you are thinking about the, the big purchase i want you to think about how you're going to finance it okay do you want to finance with your, your with your own cash or you want to actually finance it with through a credit card where you can rake in some big rewards in terms of um, some points or miles or whatnot okay so this is important and the, the the thing is that you can ignore me all you want boss but i'll keep saying it you need to have the right timing for your for, for your credit card application especially with navy fed because the thing is you don't want to waste some you don't want to actually waste some hard pulls on your credit history with, with uh without planning it beforehand so if you've got a big purchase plan, a new credit card application from Navy Fed can be useful. And I'm, and I'm in for two reasons. First of all, you can get a promotional APR to avoid interest on your purchase. Yeah, this is a sweet spot. We love that. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you can earn rewards from a credit card sign-up bonus. Okay, and this is kind of cool. So for example, Navy Fed will offer sign-up or welcome bonuses in the form of cashback, a credit statement or a certain number of rewards points if you meet spending requirements on the card within a uh, specific time period so this is kind of cool so listen if you know you have a large purchase coming up you can time your application so a purchase you are going to make anyway can help you meet spending requirements for a sign up bonus so this is kind of sweet okay so this is really good and uh, one thing i want to say here is that the most common time frame to meet those requirements is uh, three months we have seen uh, navy fed actually uh, say uh, four months in some cases after opening your account okay so this is kind of cool so if you don't normally let's say if you don't normally spend three thousand four thousand five thousand six hundred six thousand rather in such a short time a large purchase could help you meet their spending requirements so you don't miss out on your sign up bonus okay so this is really important here are the cards that you can actually play if you want to uh, be approved if you want to be approved and you want to uh Ricketing big through a big purchase. So we have the cash rewards, the gold rewards. 
we have the Visa Signature Flagship Rewards, and we have the Navy Federal More Rewards American Express Card. I want to talk to you about balance transfers, boss. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I want to talk to you. See, a great time to apply for a Navy Federal credit card is uh, when you are thinking about transferring balances. Oh, yeah. Is anybody listening? I want to I want to hear you. I, I want to hear everybody say, yeah. Bob, are you there? Cynthia, Michelle, I'm talking to you. Why is every, everything so quiet here? I want to hear something. I want to say, hey, listen, balance transfers, balance transfers, balance transfers. The thing is, if you have a balance on a high interest credit card, a Navy Fed is giving you a 0% APR or giving you a 2% APR or 3% or whatnot, you better seize that opportunity. Okay, so balance transfer could be a good opportunity for you to actually uh, apply for a Navy Federal credit card. Now, sometimes you may need to transfer an existing balance from a high interest credit card to a Navy Federal one that offers you a lower interest rate. So if done properly, and, and I insist on the word properly here, if you do this properly, this could help you save money on interest charges, okay? Especially because we all know that Navy Federal does not charge AP, uh, balance transfer fees, which is really great. I mean, personally, a lot of folks don't really mind the 3% or 5% or whatnot, but the thing is that they do count a lot, especially if you have a large balance to transfer. And they do count a lot because those are one-time fees. So when you annualize them, so basically when you have 3%, annualized you're talking 36 percent or 50 percent in some cases so it's, it's no longer a, a 30 percent it's it's really 30 percent or it's no, no longer three percent if it is 30 percent or 50 percent really but so this is important so if you're carrying a high interest debt now is the perfect time to apply for a new navy federal credit card offering a zero percent intro rate on balance transfers for 12 or more months okay so ideally you will pay down your balance before the intro apr expires to avoid paying interest charges okay this is kind of cool boss and one thing i want you to do is that just you can actually go on the internet and go on uh, some websites to have a balance transfer calculator to make a plan for paying down your, your balance during your intro APR period, okay? So here are two cards that actually qualify for that. You have the Platinum and you have the Gold Rewards, okay? So boss, the approach should be for you to actually uh, see if you have high balances on other credit cards, okay? And see the best way to apply for the Platinum or the Gold Rewards. Ideally, you want to actually uh, be pre-approved so you can save yourself a hard pull, okay? And uh, so once you have that, just go ahead and, and apply. If you have good credit, this could be a good time to apply for a Navy Federal credit card. I said earlier, right off the bat, that nobody ever, nobody ever actually de declines an invite from Navy Fed to apply for a credit card. That would be foolish. Oh, I don't care how good your credit is. I really don't care. Okay. And and the thing is that you've probably been chilling and, and uh, making uh, maybe uh, making fun of uh, those with poor credit. But honestly, don't rub it in. Okay. The thing here is that everybody has been, let's say, at a certain position at a certain time. So if you are lucky to have your to see yourself in a good credit, his in a good credit position now, don't rub it in. Because we see a lot of viewers, especially uh, some people in the comment section, sort of uh, downgrading or let's say uh, demeaning the uh, the bad credit position that others are. People saying, "Well, I'm I'm having 729. I'm having an 800. I don't need uh, I don't need those those credit cards for fair credit or credit cards for a good cre for good credit because I'm actually banking right now. I'm up in here, boss. Just humble yourself, okay." One thing I want to say here is that, of course, if you have if you have good credit, that's fantastic. Congrats to you! It's been a it's been a hard work. It's been a result of a lot of uh, a lot of sacrifices. I know that being there, done that. Okay, I myself I'm currently at 825, so I understand the route. The, I understand the pains it takes to get to where I am right now. So the whole the whole thing is that if you got good or excellent credit, you want to apply for an every federal credit card. I don't care. I really don't care if you have no other cards in your in your wallet. You want to have the Navy Federal credit card because of the perks, because of the rewards, because of uh, the, uh, the 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 institution itself. You're talking about a prestigious 
financial institution okay so you want to carry their cards one thing that's important is that you need to understand that if you if your credit score is uh, good to excellent i'm talking about 670 to 850 your chances of being approved for a new credit card from navy fed or or another institution are much better than if you had a poor or fair credit rating okay so if you're confident about your credit score it could be a good time to apply for a new credit card okay so when we talk about the credit cards that could be of interest to you we are speaking about the gold rewards we are speaking about the visa signature flagship rewards we are speaking about the navy federal more rewards american express card okay great card i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about the right timing to apply for a Navy Federal credit card, okay? And I've given you a, a few uh, a, a few times when you should apply. Now, I want to talk to you about credit building. Oh, yeah. The thing is, not everybody has a perfect credit. Not everybody has credit to start with, okay? But, hey, listen, boss, I don't want you to panic. I don't want you to make mistakes and actually apply for it. Credit cards are really bad for you or really uh, expensive. I'm talking about crazily expensive. What's up with that? We want to do more research. We want to we want to apply for a Navy Federal credit card that will help you build credit but also cost you less. This is important, okay? If you would like to build your credit profile, you want to focus on two credit cards. Two credit cards from Navy Federal. We have the Cash Rewards and we have the N Rewards Secured. Okay, it really depends on your, your on your situation. If you have been with Navy Federal for a long time, even if you don't have credit, you can actually get the cash rewards. This is why I was just telling you I was just telling you earlier about thinking about your family relationship with Navy Fed, not just your relationship, but your family relationship, your your children, your grandchildren. Okay, so if someone has, um, if your parents, if your dad or mom has actually set you up with Navy Fed since you were twelve. By the time you reach 21, guess what? You probably don't have credit or let's say you have thin credit, but you do have a long relationship with, with Navy Fed and that could get you the cash rewards. In other words, that could get you an unsecured credit card. But if you don't have that relationship, you can start with a secure credit card, okay, from a Navy Fed. That's the end reward secured. And the way you do it is that you uh, you, you can just uh, maybe uh, start with 200 or 100 and you gradually, you gradually actually build up your credit. And the cool thing is if you maintain a good uh, history of payments, Navy Federal will bump you up, will graduate you. They will graduate you from secured credit card to unsecured credit cards in a matter of six months or nine months. So the decision, we're talking about having a, making a decision here. The decision is, is what? You need to choose which credit card works for you. You need to choose which situation you find yourself in and the best routes that you should take to actually reach your goals. This is important, okay? So that's the decision I want you to take today to think about your plan. So I've given you a, a lot of good times when you should apply for an every federal credit card. Now, let me talk about bad timing, okay? The thing is, sometimes people just apply randomly to Navy Fed. They apply, they apply what I call blindly. What the Lord Jesus? Think about it. Why would you want to apply for a Navy Federal, a Navy Federal credit card without thinking about it, without planning stuff? We need a code, folks. We need a formula. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm tired of actually having your. I'm tired of seeing your ass rejected on credit card applications, whether it is whether they are from Navy Federal or. Um, or other institutions if, we, if, if you don't want your ass to be rejected you got to have proper timing okay so you want to be aware of bad timing so when should you not apply for a new credit card from navy federal so if you are about to get a mortgage or other loan this is definitely not a good time to apply for any credit card for that matter okay you really don't want to uh, you don't want to lower your, your credit score because any points that is lower in your credit score can actually have an impact and i'm talking about detrimental big impact on your mortgage application if you've got recent hard inquiries this is not a good time to apply for an every federal credit card okay if you've got a bunch of uh, hard pulls on your credit recently 
you just want to wait a little bit be patient okay let it go let things go you just want to let things slide by boss did you hear that i want you to let things slide by for a while before you apply for a new credit card if your finances are not in good shape this is this is not a good opportunity this is not a good time brother to apply for a credit card from navy federal or for any other institution so if you are struggling to make ends meet let's just call it i'm just gonna call it re let me call it the way it is if you're struggling if you're broke okay if you're currently broke you want to step aside and, and, and find ways to actually find a job or two jobs you want to straighten up your you want to straighten up your finances okay and this is important because and, and a good part of it is to have a, a checking account and savings account with Navy Federal. So you basically have an idea. You have a path. You have a roadmap to get back on track. Okay. So the bottom line is what? The bottom line is that the best time to apply for a new Navy Federal credit card is when you are financially ready to take on this card. Okay. We've all got financial aspirations and personal goals that can benefit from the perks that Navy Federal credit cards offer. Okay. But the thing is that you want to assess, you want to evaluate your specific needs so you can find the right card for you at the right time. Thank you, boss, for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about Navy Federal credit card, when to apply, the best timing that is. Okay. And uh, so you have, so if you have free approval, if you have been pre-approved, if you have a, a strong relationship with the institution, if you have a big purchase coming up, if you want to do some balance transfer, if you have good credit, if you want to build credit, okay, or yeah, credit building. And the last thing is you want to be aware of what we call bad timing. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.